Philippians 4, 6, and 7, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, will keep your hearts and mind through Jesus Christ. Our God and Savior, Jesus, is the only one that we can depend on from one moment to the next, literally. If you think you can do it on your own for any length of time, well then, good luck for that for you. I know I can't, and I know I don't want to. For the longest time in my life, I depended on me and not so much in God. But for some reason, one day in my life, way back about 20 years ago, maybe a little less, I decided to do something different in my life for me alone to be with God. And that was, I said this, I'm going to praise God daily, just all of the time. Every single time I think of him, I'm going to say, praise God, praise God, praise God. I did that and I kept it up for a little over two years. Now I didn't do it non-stop, I just kept saying thank you God Jesus for reminding me to praise you all day long. And when I forget because I get busy, because I had a family home at that time and I was working part time, I forgot. But when God would come into my heart, come into my thinking, I'd say oh yes, praise God, praise God, praise God. That's how I started all of this praising with God Jesus to God Jesus alone because he is our God and Savior alone and I just wanted to see how much of a difference it would make for me to be with him that much during the day and what would happen in time if I just saw myself thinking about him that much reading the Bible daily almost but not quite I went to church occasionally but not much I just kept saying this Praise God, praise God, praise God. And I knew who God Jesus is and was. I know and I knew then that he was God Jesus in my life alone with God Jehovah and with the Holy Spirit. Now I'm not telling you that I led a perfect life because obviously I have not. I am a sinner just like all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But I wanted to make me better. And to make me better, I had to spend more time with God Jesus to help me to become a better person, a better child of God. And the only way I could think of doing that, how to do that, was to be spending more time with God Jesus. So I said, praise God, praise God, praise God. And you know what? It helped. It has helped so much in my life that I cannot believe my temperament and my patience has improved so much. I can't believe sometimes myself... I don't get angry about things I used to. I don't say the wrong words or the bad words I used to as much. That takes time and temper. It takes time and patience. But when you do it all of the time throughout the day because you are thinking of Jesus Christ as God and Savior in your life and you keep praying to him to help you to become a better person, to be more patient, to not be so angry, to not be edgy or skeptical but skeptical about people becoming your friend or being a better friend because they say something wrong but they don't really mean it they just had a bad moment you've had bad moments I've had bad moments so we learn to say I'm sorry or I forgive it's an important issue so make all of your prayers and your relationship unto God first let him be who he is as God alone in your life and let him be all he can be for you alone so that you can be a better you. And that's it for now, but I can tell you this, one more thing. I have forgiven many in my time here on this earth and I've been here long enough to know that that's been a lot. But at the same time, sometimes I still hold grudges. So the peace really comes in your life and in your heart when you have truly forgiven someone complete. And I'm still working on that with a few people, maybe one mainly or a couple. But you know what? It's worth the time spent saying, I love you, God, Jesus. Help me to be a complete forgiver in my heart. So when I see someone again that maybe we had a quarrel about many years ago or not that long ago, that I can say, wow, it's really great to see you. Praise God, Jesus, and God bless your time with me again and me with you again so that we can become the best friends like forever because eternity is just around the corner. It's saying that here now, it's just around the corner. That's God Jesus. He's telling me to tell you to be a better you, to spend more time with him as God Jesus alone in your life. And remember to pray and ask him to remind you to pray and ask that he remind you to praise him throughout the day. And he will, you'll forget, I did, but you can make it better for you with God Jesus. And then that's it. That's holding the time frame with you with God Jesus on a daily basis and making it better for you 
to be a better you, to be a better you with other people around you, whomever that might be. God bless and have a great day. Great day.